dragging on the F-35B because it gave, you know, the F-35 the canopy bow. I hear you, man. About a canopy bow, right, right? But, like, yeah. turns out, like, everything lands inside that canopy bow, it seems like, when you're out there fighting. <laughs> and I've seen the Marine Corps saying, hey, we're actually going to buy more F-35 C's than plan versus the B model. Can you talk to me about maybe the, the limitations and the differences of the B versus the C and why yeah. that? Yeah, and listen, I don't... I, you're not going to hear me shy away from any of the criticisms about any of those things. I mean, I lived that stuff too. You asked early on, you know, F F 16 or F 18, uh, nobody gets into the F 16 wishes they had a canopy bow like they did in the Hornet. <laughs> um, that thing is awesome. And, you know, obviously even, you know, the Raptor doesn't have a canopy bow, which is great. It's still the view in the Raptor is not as good as the view in the yeah. F 16. There's nothing like that. There's just, it, you know, it better than anyone that said, you know, you're thinking about the F 35, the different variants, uh, the B and the C, obviously the the F thirty five across the board, all three variants are much more similar than they are different. They're they're pretty much identical in terms of capability. Couple couple variations, uh, but the B definitely had some. I wouldn't even call them limitations, but they had some very specific requirements that forced a couple things onto the airplane itself. Uh, and when if you take the B and the C, the two variants that the Marine Corps flies, and you put them side by side, certainly on paper, you get some great advantage with the C. Uh, a ton of gas, like a ton of gas, some ridiculous amount, 20 something thousand pounds, uh, more than any, anything else that's out there. You get that big extra wing for that coming aboard the ship, which means it's super efficient up at altitude, bigger payload. And so on paper, you've got these metrics that really make the C a great airplane, which is part of the reason why the Marine Corps has invested and is growing that investment in it to fly off the big deck carrier, which, you know, as a, as an instrument of national defense, man, you know, the big deck carrier is really hard to beat. You want to be part of that. The B and I'm not parochial, you know, I'm not like parochial to the B. I will say the B has capability when you're looking in a world of like hyper flexibility, being able to operate in very austere uh, places, being able to do things. There's just there is just a demand in the 21st century to have a highly effective fifth gen stealth platform like the F-35 operate in very non-traditional ways. And that's the niche that the F-35B owns. And you don't want to marriage like, oh, one jet's got more gas. It's got more payload. All, all true. It's it's where that thing can operate. So there are some some offsettings to that. And I am a believer in all, all of the F-35s uh, in general. But the thing that makes the B unique, there's pros and cons to that. I experienced that. I live that. The pros vastly outweigh the cons. But you're not wrong in, in some of those things that we're talking about. And, and the Marine Corps, I think, understands the need for having both of those different platforms and where they can operate. 